This is Jordan Tower with JT News. Make sure you smash that like button, smash that subscribe button. Jordan Tower with the new artist J Red from South Minneapolis, 612. New single, Wake My City Up. Links below. Never hated on another nigga. I'm all facts. Watch a kid and they kill getting plays. I'm all that. To be loving these pay niggas that be all cats. Make sure you smash that like button, smash that subscribe button. Okay, we're going to get into the last video of the night. Okay, guys, we're going to wrap this up. All right. So, uh, and it might be your first video in the morning. So, Takashi, he says, Meek Mill, you made the billboard because Takashi was on like 90 for Zaza. Even though Meek Mill took away a lot of views from him by having the video removed for a couple of days. So he decided to rub that in Meek Mill's face. <laughs> now we got uh, Tyrese, his ex-wife is, you know, talking about, well, it's not ex-wife yet. They're in the middle of a divorce. Uh, you know, why do we always hear from people like we don't even want to know? I, I, I hate to be harsh here. You were Tyrese's wife. That doesn't, you know, that doesn't make you like, well, super famous where we want to hear from you now. We only know of you because you were Tyrese's wife. I mean, honestly, like I've never heard of this girl before. Maybe you have. I haven't. And now she's talking about why she wouldn't get with a guy like Tyrese again. I wouldn't get with a guy like Tyrese because he's a high value man. And a lot of guys, a lot of girls want to get with her, him. And it's like, you know, it's too much competition. And he wants it his way because he has so many options. You knew that before you married him. You should have you should have dated him for two years before you married him. Marriage is a big step. You don't just rush into it in six months. I know there's a lot of like dating people online they're like it was six months to a year and you're married no 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 never do that <laughs> don't do that don't do it to yourself you don't even start realizing who someone really is after until after a year they can act for a year try acting for two or three years you get that real person things will start to plateau the, the butterflies will be gone and then, and then you really see who that person is okay it's very important um. Yeah, if you're in your 20s, you're going to make mistakes. Tyrese is in his mid-40s, and so is she. Uh, You made a mistake. Hey, this is the girl that was with him when he was crying all the time. Remember, he was talking about, like, oh, I have an ex-girlfriend. And he was talking about borrowing money from, you know, Will Smith and stuff. He was just, he was losing it. He was going at The Rock. We all like Tyrese, but he was kind of losing it around then. I felt real. I was like, geez, this guy really needs to go to a therapist or something. Like, you know, he's going through it. Who knows what he's going through? Every Sometimes you need to go sit down with somebody. You know, <laughs> like, I've never had to technically do that, but I have people in my life that I can talk to. If you don't have anybody you can talk to and be honest with, you better go sit down with somebody. There's nothing wrong with that. That goes for everybody. You know, like, uh, oh, it, communication is so important, man. She's on there talking. You know, she's, she has a uh, YouTube channel. All right. Keisha Cole's sister. Yeah, another person we're hearing from that we didn't really want to hear from. Okay. Yeah. You know, she's saying, stop asking me why I'm not with my sister. Uh, I do what I want. <laughs> uh, the MUA, the stylist, the hairdresser, I'm talking real friends, family. It's just like yes men people. And people can't do their own thing. You got to do what she wants. She underpaid me, blah, blah, blah. It wasn't no respect. This is not a bitterness or hatred. Just, just be honest because I'm sick of getting these questions. I mean, you know, your sister's a superstar. Yeah, that's what's going to happen. Plus, she, I think she funded everybody in the family. Like, she'd be giving money to everybody. So it's like, I don't know. <laughs> she kind of wants it her way. <laughs> Anyways, uh, what's next? All right, we'll finish that part. Zoya Banks reacts to T.I., and I don't blame her because T.I. was very harsh on her. T.I. is responsible for canceling. Like, he canceled a lot of people during his career, and now he's getting canceled. This is why you got to have a, a little bit of empathy for certain things. I'm not saying he was wrong in everything he did. Sometimes you get to get to the bottom of the story before you totally cancel something. Right? T.I. isn't getting the benefit of the doubt right now because I don't think he gave the benefit of the doubt. I don't believe in cancel culture. I believe in, you know, being aware of certain things. 
Uh, and it's your choice whether you want to deal with it or not. Now, T.I., he's not, he's not guilty. He's innocent until proven guilty. He has accusations against him, but a lot of brands are leaving him right now. Azealia Banks stepped in with her um, her thoughts, and she said, y'all never checked T.I. for saying he was going to, uh, you know, attack me and uh, toss me downstairs. That's true. <laughs> That's true. Uh, over questioning a white woman for calling herself a runway. So, okay. And then I'm insane because you all made me this way. Well, you know, I don't blame her for reacting. She says, sad thing is T.I. and Tiny probably had an igloo drugged up and forcing her into threesomes, too. Had igloo. Who's igloo? Is that one of their friends? I don't blame her for reacting because T.I. was pretty harsh with her, you know? So I can't really... I don't know. Yeah, it is what it is, man. But that's the end of this video. Um, I just want to say I appreciate you guys so much. And I hope you guys are, what is it, March 2nd? I hope you guys are just being, you know, taking uh, this year seriously. Uh, taking control of your life. I hope you're in a good place. And if you're not, work towards it, you know. Make sure you save your money. I don't know. I don't know what advice to give tonight, but I just want to, you know, make sure you're in good spirits. You know, uh, just keep moving through life. We have ups and downs, and you just got to keep moving forward. Don't give up. That's all I can say to you. You know, that's all I can say to you every day. Don't give up. Life is hard. Life isn't fair. Everybody goes through it. You, you could look at someone else's life and think everything's great for them but you don't know what they're dealing with not everybody's is open with it not everybody knows what you're dealing with you know think about that when you're in the grocery store you might look like you have a great life and you don't but you got to deal with what you're given and the cars that are dealt ah, there's so many obstacles in life <laughs> it's so serious man but uh i appreciate you guys keep power forward i'll check you guys in the next one this is Jordan Tao with JT News. I appreciate you guys so much, and I'll check you guys in the next one. Jordan Tao with the new artist, J Red from South Minneapolis, 612. New single, Wake My City Up. Links below. Never hated on another nigga. I'm all facts. Watch a keen and they kill getting plays. I'm all that. Just be loving these fake niggas that be all cat.